In 2016, the process of buying and selling real estate in Metro Vancouver's frenzied market looked largely like this. Well, we've been on such a ride over the last few years. How times have changed. Prices are now kind of back to where they were around, say, mid-2015. That once boiling hot market has cooled to lukewarm at best. Listings that would have once fueled fierce bidding wars left lingering for months. With asking prices in some cases dramatically below assessed values in a bid to attract buyers, relisted and reduced by seven figures in some cases in the detached sector in Vancouver, including its once red hot west side. Now you're talking about two and a half, three million, four million dollar homes uh, that are sort of left to a more local market. And it's a similar story further east. Detached properties selling at a loss in the Tri-Cities, going for well below assessed value right across the region, with attached units and townhomes following suit. It makes for huge uncertainty over what real estate is worth. And those plunging prices are paired with a tangible drop in buyers. Last month, the first all year to mark more than 2,000 home sales. But still, those more than 2,600 transactions mark a nearly 7% decrease from this time last year. We've had such a strong real estate market here over the last decade, um, so it was bound to slow down. And it spiraled to a snail's pace in Greater Vancouver. Sales dropping more than a third to a nearly two-decade low in all sectors in a 12-month period. Same story in the Fraser Valley. Townhouses, condos and single family homes all down by well over a quarter and only sliding further this year. We're five months in, it's pretty much at like 30 year lows. So I think right now is the big thing is just trying to get sellers to come to grips sort of with the changing market reality. And inventory only continues to accumulate as buyers and sellers sit on the sidelines, opting out for now of making any moves in a slumping market. Sarah McDonald, Global News.